hey guys welcome back to my channel so a while ago i posted this video where i made a reversible top and reversible rouge skirt and i was getting a lot of questions about when i'm going to drop a tutorial so in this video today i'll be showing you how to make a reversible top if it's something you're interested in keep watching this video to achieve a reversible top you have to use two different fabrics you can use ankara fabrics or any type of fabrics you want but two different fabrics so that it can be reversible at the end of the day so i already drafted out a basic bodice pattern and this top is going to actually be a free top it's not a fitted top that's why you see that the pattern is almost the same at the waist and the bust i drafted out just one piece because the front and the back of this top is basically the same just the neckline that is different and there's no zip in this top because like i said it's a free top and you'll be able to wear it easily i also drafted out a sleeve pattern and what i'm just going to be doing is using my pattern to cut out my material i'm going to be cutting the same thing for the two materials two um bodies that's the front and back and the sleeve for both materials is this karma or are you getting what you want again? I guess I'm finding it hard to believe in Something I couldn't see coming You show me off, it's alright You can't afford to live without me Why aren't you afraid to say goodbye? I know you're just the type to be okay without me is she better? I mean, I don't remember you mentioning anyone else, but what else could it be? What else could it be? You say it happens all the time. Show me off, it's alright, you can't afford to live without me Why aren't you afraid to say goodbye? I know you're just the type to be okay without me You show me off, sat in your car for hours just to be unhappy Why are you afraid to be alright? I know you're not the type to be okay without me out your pattern what you should have is four parts of bodies as well as four sleeves i'm just going to show you how i'm going to sew this by pinning it i'll pin it down the pattern i would use to sew it the exact way so just watch closely the way i pin it is the way i would sew it on my machine the first thing i'll do is pin the shoulders because that's where i'll be sewing first and after the shoulders i'll join the armhole and after that i'll join the bodies to the sleeve you show me off, it's alright, you can't afford to live without me Why aren't you afraid to say goodbye? I know you're just the type to be okay without me Is she better? I mean, I don't remember you mentioning anyone else But what else could it be? What else could it be? You say it happens all the time. You find it hard to find a reason to stay. You show me off, it's alright. You can't afford to live without me. Why aren't you afraid to say goodbye? I know you're just the type to be. So after joining and making both tops, the next thing you want to do is iron out your seam because when you finish making this top, you don't want it to look boggy on the inside. So iron, open up your seam and iron them as flat as you can iron them. 
After ironing the seam, you turn both tops inside out, that's to the right part of the top, to the correct part of the top, and measure both tops to make sure they are equal, like the measurement from the sleeve to the body to the neck, everything is equal and perfect. Because when you are joining the two of them together, you don't want to encounter any problems with excess parts, so you have to make sure that both of them are equal before you go ahead to join them. So all that is left for us to do now is to join our two tops together to make one top. What you want to do is turn one of them to the wrong side and leave one of the tops to the right side. That's turn one of them to the wrong side and one of the tops should be at the right side. If you don't understand, what I mean is one of the tops should be facing the wrong side, which is the back where the seam is, and the other one should be facing the front so what you do is the one facing the front, you put it into the one that is facing the back. Like you are wearing it into it. So what you are doing, just watch closely. You are going to take the one which is faced on the right side, like the right side, and put it into the one that is facing the wrong side. So that at the end of the day, you would have right side facing right side inside the cloth. I just hope you got my explanation. After putting one top into the other, make sure everything is laid and everything is perfect or nearly perfect and then you start pinning the, where you want to pin from is to pin the neck first because that's the first place we're going to be joining make sure the neck is equal make sure you're pinning from seam to seam to make sure everything comes out well so you're going to pin the neck first and we'll take that to the machine to sew and i'll tell you what is next again i guess i'm finding it hard to believe in something i couldn't see coming You show me off, it's alright, you can't afford to After joining the two necks together, you go ahead and remove your pin and notch the neckline. I'm sure most of you already know how to do this, already do this when sewing. But you notch the neckline, so when you turn it over, it will be settled and it will sit well on your neck. When you are done with that, you just turn your top back inside. So you are putting one part of the top back inside the other part of the top. So it's become one top, basically. After that, after arranging it, make sure the hand goes into the hand and every corner goes where it is supposed to go. Then you go ahead to iron the neck, the neckline. Iron the neckline so it would rest well on your neck. The next step after joining the neck and ironing is to join your sleeve together. You're going to join the sleeve inside the top and you need to actually watch this part well so you don't miss anything because this is, this is the part that I feel may be confusing to people. So once you go into the middle of the two tops, that's where the two seams, the back is, you just pick the two sleeves and just the way I'm doing it like this, this is how you join it. It's going to go, <laughs> the right side is going to be facing the right side and the wrong side is going to be facing the wrong side. So that means you're sewing the two wrong sides together. So when you turn it, you'll see the right side. I just hope I could explain it for you to understand it. Something I couldn't see coming You show me off It's alright You can't afford to live without me Why are you afraid to say goodbye? I know you're just the type to be Okay without me Is she better? After joining the sleeves You can go ahead to cut out any excess If you have any and then you wear back the top together. So you're wearing one top into the other one. You arrange it properly. Make sure the hands are equal. Make sure non, no, the other part of the material, the second material is not showing on the other side. And the other one is not showing on the other side. And vice versa. So after doing that, we're going to proceed to the last step of this top making. Which is actually our hem. <laughs> To hem the lower part of this top, we're going to be making use of the hem glue or hem gum, whichever you know it as. And this is actually a very easy step. And I like using this step because if there's something wrong with the top or you have to adjust, you can easily just rip it off and do your thing. So how you're going to do this is you're just going to fold out what you want to use as your hem, iron it, then put your hem gum at the middle of the two tops and iron again. And just like that, it sticks like 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 glue. <laughs> so after doing that, we're basically done with this top, and the top is ready. Let me try it on. Let us see if it is a hundred or is it a ten? I don't know. Just let me know what you rate this top on a scale of one to ten, 
and let me know if there's any question you have in the comment section let me know if there's anything you were not clear on i would explain it properly to you so let's try the top one this is what the top looks like on my body and i'm really 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 loving it and you can use this um tutorial you can use this method for any style of top even the previous one i did with long hand short hand small hand little hand anyone this is this other part of the top so reversible top just imagine getting two tops in one how cool is that <laughs> i really really hope this video was helpful for you or to you if the video was helpful don't forget to share it to others don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section and i would answer them as soon as i see them Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. See you in my next video. Until then, keep winning.